Welcome everyone to Mohi Talk episode 14, the worst podcast on the internet. Today I am receiving yet another fringe, bleeding edge meme creator and curator uh, that works on Facebook and Instagram. I'm gonna let you introduce yourself and give all your credentials so uh, I don't miss anything or say anything that I should not. Let's go! Yeah, um, I'm Eddie, also known as with memes like these, who needs enemies, and um, which is my Facebook page. And since um, like two months ago, I also have a YouTube channel called Eddie. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> and, uh, that that's because when I asked you to come on my podcast, it was three months ago, so you didn't have it yet. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, uh, I'm actually, <laughs> uh, for the people who are listening, I'm actually still editing the previous episode, episode 13, that was recorded in the middle of March, because uh, I had so many problems between the technical problems with my computer and uh, also personal personal mm-hmm. problems with my health, some issues, and also all the, the baby rats uh, that were not... Um, you know that were kind of an accident. So uh, <laughs> I'm I'm three, <laughs> literally three months late uh, on my editing schedule. But uh, so I don't even know when this will be released. Probably in September. Uh, but um, yeah. So, um, Mister, uh, with memes like these, who needs enemies? Uh, what is at the moment your favorite meme? My favorite meme. Yeah, of lately. Ooh. Um. Um. Gotta f- think about that for a second. Let's say, let's um, say uh, your favorite meme of of twenty nineteen so far. Uh, for the people who are listening, we are in the middle of June, so I don't know when this will be yeah. released, but the, we, we're recording <laughs> in the middle of June. Well, I guess. Um, well, the, the the majority of memes are are endgame memes, uh-huh. uh, like from Avengers yep. Endgame. I guess the 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 impossible meme is is uh, well, it works best for uh, it, it. It just works so well with all kinds of um, subjects. So it's it's a really good usable me- yeah. meme. I think that's. Yeah, maybe it's not the most the the best, but it's the best I can think of right now. Yeah, yeah, it, it works in a lot of different contexts. It's very versatile, and uh, uh, most yeah. uh, great memes are like this. Yeah, and uh, what would be um, as of let's say as of twenty nineteen, the first half, your least favorite meme, your the one you that you dislike the most, the worst. Um, who? Um, I didn't really study for this test. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> I guess um, you don't have to answer. If no, you don't have an answer. No, I don't. I, don't, I have no idea. Um, You're like you wanna, mostly. You I don't. You don't. I I bury them deep in my yeah, mind if I don't like uh, them. Yeah. So <laughs> I I understand because I'm the same. So. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, oh yeah, one thing I want to talk about. I, I don't know if you've um, been watch watching. I don't know if you've um, been following some of them, but there is a lot of new uh, bot pages on, especially on Facebook, but it's also elsewhere, like Tumblr. Uh, Boat? Yeah, uh, like, like, you know, the first, the, like the OG one was Sheetpost Bot 5000. And then... Oh, Bot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about a bo- boat. Oh! Like, like, <laughs> when you sail on, I was like, huh? No. Yeah, Bot. Yeah. Um, so, um, yeah. Uh, do you, are you following a lot of these? And if so, what's your favorite one? What do you think about it? Do you want to start a boat uh, by yourself? Bot. Um, well, I I don't have the first idea of uh, making a bot, yeah. but um, I I think I only follow two, like the, the shit post bot five thousand, like that one. Mm-hmm. Um, you also did a podcast with and um, the anagram bot. Oh yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. That's that that one's great too. Um, 
I think that that's about it. I don't have, I don't know other but meme pages. We, we, I'll look into it. Oh <laughs> yeah, it's uh, actually I'm uh, <laughs> shameless self plug. I made a video about my favorite ones uh, lately, so you can check it. It's on my YouTube channel. It's a oh. little long, but you don't have to. I've missed that one then. Yeah, it's. Uh, I watch most of your videos. Oh, so. <laughs> thanks a lot. Uh, you will have to. Yeah. Uh, you will have to give me. Uh, I will ask you at the end the the link for your uh, YouTube channel. Um, oh, for sure. So, uh, do, are you interested? Like, uh, we've all been following cheat post, but for I, I don't know you, but I've been following it for like three years for most of its uh, existence. And uh, did you ever, did uh, you ever yeah. want to make one of these, or do you prefer uh, a, a bot? Yeah. Um, like, let let's well, say I think it's 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 interesting. It's it's would be really interesting to be able. To make a bot, like yeah, but okay, <laughs> I, I can say I'm not into Let, that. Let's but. say you meet someone, like I don't know, one of your fans who sends who sends you a, a mail or someone like that, uh, who has who uh -huh. has the technical knowledge, and uh, you w would just be the the artistic director, basically. He would just be the the writer, oh, yeah. and he would uh, take charge of all the the technological aspect. Uh, then would you be who would you be interested then? Yeah, yeah, obviously, yeah. Uh, and what? On that note, I, I also, um, um, uh, uh, like a week ago or maybe two weeks ago, I, I uh, put on my page a question like, would it, wouldn't it be interesting if um, Facebook had mods where you can like turn every boring post of your friends or something into memes? <laughs> like, so you... It, just mods over on, on Facebook, everything. Yeah. That wouldn't be great. Yeah. I, I mean, it's probably not possible, but it, it would be great if, if Facebook introduced that. Oh, I, I remember um, there was a lot of, a few years ago, uh, there was a bunch of um, extensions, like for Chrome and maybe Firefox too, that yeah. did that kind of thing, that they, they, re re they changed uh, some words to another, or they may oh, everyone yes, sound yes. like Elmer Fudd or a pirate. Uh, so um, it probably would uh, work at an um, you know if you're on desktop and using um, a, br a browser mm -hmm. like the in the olden days. Um, yeah, that way you should wouldn't have to um, like implement it in Facebook itself, yeah. but just yeah, yeah. in your own browser. Yeah, yeah, that's. That would be could be viable, <laughs> could be possible, or you could just have no friends and only follow, follow meme pages, and then you would have just memes and uh, no boring stuff about their babies and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, um, it is boring. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, so if you had a bot, what would be its theme? Theme. Yeah. Um, like, uh, like when the shitpost bot has like shit posts, uh, yeah. and and the anagram bot has anagrams, yep. of course. Yeah. So, what would be my theme? Um, I think I would make it. Uh, it's, it's, it probably already exists, but a surreal meme bot. Oh yeah, nice. I just uh, puts together really w random things and just. Make it funnier. Ah, uh, yeah, some kind of than the sum of its parts. You could, yeah, collage. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Indeed. I, I see collage bot. I don't think it exists. <laughs> I mean, in a way, shit post bot is kind of like this. But I see what you. Yeah, yeah. That could that could work. That would be an interesting idea. Yeah, like like more surreal and and just um, well a bit more like my uh, my own memes. Yeah. So by the way, like the, talking about your own memes. Uh, do you make like all of them, or is it a mix of uh, found and uh, original content, or what's the the proportions between the ones you make um, yourself and the one you find? Yeah, I think um, well, the memes I don't like. Sometimes I share a meme, like when it's it is visible when you share a meme of some other page uh -huh. if you really share it. But the memes I don't share, they're, well, m most of them, yeah, I, I think all of them are made by, by me. Okay. 
Yeah. Nice. And um, maybe I don't steal uh, <laughs> much. <laughs> <laughs> I used to steal sometimes, but no. Okay. I make most myself. And um, do you have um, any other accounts, or are you just on Facebook? Um, no, Facebook and YouTube. That that's about it. Okay. I, yeah. Um, um, we we used to have a um, an Instagram mm -hmm. uh, page, but I'm not even sure if that one's still running. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I can't say anything about I that. I see. Um, is that is that your main thing, or, or do you or do something else on the side, like a uh, studies or day job or? Uh... Oh yeah, yeah. I uh, I uh, study uh, astrophysics. Oh, neat. That's very cool. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, it's uh, it's just something. Uh, me making memes is just something I do beside studying. Interesting. That's nice. Astrophysics. That's pretty nerdy, but uh, cool in yeah. the same time. Um, yeah. Do you are you like near the the, the beginning or near the end of your uh, studies? Um, halfway actually. Okay. Uh, second year university. That's yeah. That's gonna be the hardest uh, part. The bean in yeah. the middle. And uh, do you have a, a, already an idea of what you want to do later with your diploma? Or I don't. I don't even know what uh, you can do with a astrophysics diploma. Yeah, there's a lot of things you can do, but I'm I'm not sure what I um what I really want to do. Uh -huh. Like a. When it, if I get a job in astrophysics, maybe just like scientist, yeah, uh, like a scientist, or maybe work for a company. I have absolutely no clue as to what direction I'm headed. Okay, so uh, I'll I'll see next year um, when I'm going to orient, mm -hmm. uh, like like see what what kind of things I can do. Yeah, I see. That would should give me an uh, an image of my future. <laughs> and um, if you don't uh, find what you want to do in astrophysics, or if you can't find a job because the market is saturated, and you, you uh, mm -hmm. would you be interested in pursuing a, a career in the meme field? Um, yeah, I would be interested, but I. I'm not quite sure how um, um, how I should do that. Like where um, I should make a living out of that. I mean, do you make a living out of purely out of um, the memes and and in your YouTube channel? Uh, yeah, it's oh, uh, right. b barely. Like I don't. <laughs> I don't make a lot of money. Uh, I, I make like around. Uh, 500 a month uh, that's uh, All right. just just the bare minimum to be able to pay my bills and buy food uh, but uh, yeah, exactly. but yeah between the the merch store and uh, also uh, I, I sell uh, music I, I make music uh, yeah. so that helps and uh, the YouTube channel uh, makes zero money at the moment because uh, it's yeah, too it's small but um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Facebook is uh, is Facebook is my biggest um, revenue uh, source, and uh, it's it's doable. It's uh, it's a lot of. Um, I mean, it's not really hard work, but you really need to be consistent, like to like uh, yeah. continue, never give up. I made zero money for the first eighteen months, like one year and a half. I made nothing, and then it started uh, when I got uh, around um, 150,000 uh, 150, um, subscribers on, on Facebook. Then advertisers and companies started like uh, sending emails to me, like, uh, "Yeah, we we have uh, this." Uh, Buzzfeed clone and uh, maybe if you share our, our articles <laughs> you know, and um, um, and yeah and actually um, 
But how do you know that that was real and not a scam? Because I get a lot of messages. Oh, you know it. When, you um, know it when you that see looks it. scammy. You know it when you see yeah. it. You, you know uh, the the scam messages are super vague. Like uh, we ha- are yeah. we are a company and uh, we work with a lot of <laughs> uh, brands uh, and we can uh, make uh, money with you. Uh, we only need uh, this. They're super vague. Uh, when they're a real company, they will tell you their uh, the company name. They will tell you exactly what's going on what they want from you uh, they will give you a, a link to their website you know um, the more the, yeah. the more vague the more complete yeah 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 if it just sounds like something vague and they say uh, shit like yeah I work at Facebook advertisement or like so <laughs> yeah. is it thing like that uh, I recognize those yeah. and they, they, they tell you the, the sum of money exactly like uh, you will be paid 3000 per week uh, no links no clickbait uh, we don't need any access to your page it's always like you can tell and sometimes several of them uh, send you the exact same message at the same time so that's when you <laughs> but yeah, yeah. You, you can recognize that right. there's there are basically robots and you can tell when it's a human um, that is yeah. yeah I've never had uh, like a proposal uh, like a real one and not scammy one um, so, how many how many likes do you have on Facebook right now um, uh, like 110k yeah also you're close you're close to the marketable uh, number yeah yeah, yeah, I yeah. remember. F- well, it's been closed for a year now, so um, you, uh, <laughs> really doesn't go up. I don't know why. Oh, that's weird. You have a really slow growth. That's that's not normal. Yeah, because uh, Facebook has been growing really fast lately. Um, well, I, I'm not uploading or, or like posting very frequently. Nah, so that must no, not consistently. That must be it. So yeah. Th- yeah. 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 Uh, Facebook. Um, if you if you upload. Um, not uh, if you upload less than once a day, uh, f- Facebook uh, mm. I- is not. Um, that's not good for them. So they show you uh, even less. Um, so yeah, uh, if you want your numbers to go up fast, you gotta yeah, you gotta post several times per, per day. That's the uh, yeah. I'm always planning to do that. <laughs> but yeah, I get it. Yeah, but when you're a creator and you make everything by yourself, it's hard. It's 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 yeah. difficult. Yeah, when when um, like two years ago, um, uh, there were um, uh, it was me and uh, the the first admin of what memes like these who needs admin, uh-huh. and uh, well we both posted a lot, so then it went up from like within a couple months months from twenty k to uh, to ninety k, hmm. um, and then since then. It's been going downhill, or like not going uphill fast enough. Wow. <laughs> and uh, the first admin uh, kind of left, like well, is it, doing other other things. Mm. So I uh, I've taken over as the ma- main admin, and yeah, well I uh, should see if I can fit it in my schedule, like my day my daily mm-hmm. things to do to to make more than two memes a day <laughs> maybe you can like repost or reshare some of your old stuff because uh, because of the algorithm it's like most people will like that counts okay I mean, <laughs> good to yeah, know yeah 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 everything counts so uh, you can yeah reposting or resharing some of your old stuff uh, is good it's good because um, most people um, I mean uh because of the algorithm, uh, there's going to be a minority of your subscribers who's going to see any mm-hmm. given post because, uh, you know, it's very rare that uh, more than 15% of your audience will, will see any, any given post. So statistically, even if you... Re- yeah, that's very even rare. If you re- statistically, even if you repost something that you've already posted, uh, it's probably not going to be seen by the same people. So uh, it's not a bad, uh, it's not a bad strategy. I do it all the time, and um, it it works. So yeah, I haven't really noticed, but well, <laughs> that maybe that's the problem. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, well, it's because uh, how the algorithm works. Uh, there, there's yeah. so much content on Facebook that uh, nobody can see it all, uh, and uh, so the algorithm has to filter what people see. 
and uh, usually when you make a post it's it's served to uh, like one percent of the people who are subscribed to you and if they mm-hmm. if they like comment and share then the percentage goes up and uh, it's like uh, you know there's steps and um, for uh, on average on average uh, about 10 percent of people who like your page will see a post so um so yeah don't hesitate mm. to repost things because it's not likely going to be the same 10 percent of people who, will, who are going to see it yeah mm. yeah and I, I i guess i uh, should do that and maybe just motivate myself to make more memes <laughs> but um, i mean if like the, the struggle in that would be because um, I'm also quite busy on on uh, getting things up and running on my fa- uh, on my YouTube channel. Yeah, of course. And God, I hate editing <laughs> my videos. <laughs> like, oh my, I, it, it's cool to be able to edit, but it's not. Oh, I, I so I hate it. Yeah, same. To edit. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it just takes so much time yeah. like right uh, this this morning i was editing um like a new video mm. and um well it's it's like 40 minutes of raw footage and i'm i know it's gonna be compressed in into like 10 minutes or 15 minutes yeah. but that also means you like need to spend three times 40 minutes yeah uh, because you have to look everything over twice to see yep. <laughs> if it's all yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, it can be. It can be so long. Uh, usually, for a ten-minute video, I spend between three and six hours of editing. Yeah, so that's the that's the. Yeah, and and, and you uh, also up- upload like um, some um, videos that are very short. Yeah, so that. And and I have to figure that out how to do that yet. It's not. But I'm also planning to. It's the most difficult. Yeah. It's the most difficult actually. It's much easier to do long videos than to do short videos because when you do a short video, you gotta have just the right thing at the right moment, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it requires a lot of discipline and uh, and more practice uh, than just making like a vlog or where you can just talk for a long time and uh, it's. Um, it's and, hard. And I can imagine it also drains like your um, creativity. Like you have one idea and you have to, um, after like three minutes of footage, you already got the idea uh, out of the, out there. Mm. You can't. Um, after that, you can't really make another video about it or or post or whatever yeah oh that comes with uh with practice actually because uh, more and more uh it becomes just uh, like a habit and uh, a lot of things that you do in editing become like can kind of a reflex so you can do something else at the same time like browsing facebook or uh, calling your mm. your mom or uh, having lunch uh, you know uh, i never uh, when i edit i never just edit I edit like five minutes and then I take a five minute break to do something else and then I edit for five minutes because otherwise it takes because of that it takes much longer but uh, I'm not I'm not completely drained when I'm uh, when I'm finished you know it's uh, there is there is even been uh. sometimes when I'm uh, uh, when I'm like uh, lifting and editing at the same time, <laughs> I mean it, it, it can because I have, I have some uh, some dumbbells and a bench at home. It can be anything like uh, editing, playing. That isn't that isn't really a bad idea. Now that I think of it. Yeah, editing, playing with my rats, editing, playing with my rats, editing, going on Facebook, editing, playing Pokemon for five for five minutes. Um, so uh, it's um, it's good uh, because. Um, your eyes are like more fresh. You notice mistakes and things that are wrong more. Uh, it's yeah. because when we don't have QC, it's weird, so we have to do the QC ourselves. And um, because of that, uh, it's good to look at the footage several times and take breaks because uh, you notice uh, errors and things that are not good uh, easier if you are, you know, your eyes fixed on the video for a, a couple hours, uh, you will, you know, um, 
it's impossible to be like really concentrated for that long so uh, you yeah. will uh, your your uh, your eyes and your mind will uh, not see everything that you need to see and will look over um, stuff that you might want to you know you will miss a lot of details because you just cannot be concentrated for that long so uh, yeah well, mostly when I'm editing um, like I edit for maybe half an hour and then I then I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> then I'm really done. I'm sick of it. And then I I can go uh, like a go out of it like for like a day, and after that day continue. That's why I only upload like um, at most once in a week. <laughs> yeah. It's I just one and at one day I I'm recording it, mm. and then like a painful road of editing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what, what I do now a, a, a lot of days is that I launch my video editing software in the morning and then mm -hmm. I do like 10 minutes of editing and then I, I go about my day. I take my breakfast, I, I, I do some gym maybe or uh, to go on Facebook, take a shower and then I, I go back to my computer, do 10, 15 minutes of editing and then go do something else and when the, yeah. when the, when it's night time, I've I've done it. I've made the whole video because I've worked 10 minutes and then 10 minutes and then 10 minutes. And at the end of the day, that amounts to three or four hours of work. And my video is done. And I, you know, it's not a chore anymore. Uh, so uh, with yeah. some videos that require like um, uh, uh, an editing, like the one ha the one I've, I've done uh, with the Nintendo uh, thing, that requires much more attention because uh, making uh, yeah. making it sound like a real dialogue that that was hard. Um, but you know, <laughs> like when I've been editing a a vlog, for example, uh, I I don't care if uh, if something is is like um, you know, it's just one sequence after one sequence, and I just have to remove uh, the the blanks or the stuff that is too long. So I, I don't need uh, to be crazy attentive on it. And um, so, so that works for most videos. Um, like when I'm doing a mm. compilation of rats sleeping or whatever, when I don't need to uh, have some snappy, some something ry rhythmic, um, you know, like 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. And, you know, uh, it's like, uh, it's I do the same when I have to clean my house. I cannot, because mm -hmm. uh, normally if, if I start like, uh, cleaning, uh, taking my, my broom and everything. Uh, after 45 minutes, I am absolutely done. I cannot, I cannot <laughs> physically do more than this. And so often, uh, the, the, I have to do just one thing, like cleaning the rat's cage is usually the most important because uh, uh, yeah. it, it cannot wait. And then, uh, you know, uh, cleaning my, my clothes, putting them in the washing machine and then uh, putting them on, the, you know, the, the furniture uh, for clothes. And uh, mm -hmm. I don't do that anymore, um, like in one session, because I, I just, I can't. I physically I can't and it ruins my, my energy my motivation so um, I start in the morning I do like 15 minutes then I stop I do something else go on YouTube watch some shit uh, and then uh, I, I do like 15 more minutes and then I go out have, a, have yeah. a walk at the park and then I come back home I do 15 more minutes and by the end of the day I've done everything so um, yeah yeah that's that's a pretty efficient way to do uh, to well to get your shit done um, well, it's like I what I always do. I um, watch YouTube while I'm doing other stuff. Like if I if I if I go clean my room, then well, I listen to a podcast or or watch a YouTube video yeah. at the same time. Uh -huh. And I uh, well, I barely take a break. So that's not a very good habit. Yeah, yeah. Well, like you can do two things at the same time, but. Hmm. It, it's also uh, well, it's not that efficient uh, at the end of the day. Well, and and it's yeah. also why I uh, another reason to hate editing because I can't watch a YouTube video while I'm editing. <laughs> yeah, and I <laughs> that's that. I mean, you have to pay attention to what's happening on the screen and and you have to listen to it. You can't have do anything beside it, and that's also pretty frustrating for me because yeah. I tend to do 
more things at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Especially watching watching videos. And uh, yeah, and if there's just images, you can listen to music at the same time. But if there's like dialogue and you have to cut it right, yes. you cannot even like listen to music. Or uh, there's not a lot that you can do. Uh, you can like have a snack or uh, play with your pets, but uh, there's not a lot mm -hmm. that you can really do uh, at the same time. You cannot watch videos or films or. Uh, or whatever, you cannot listen to music or a podcast because you need to, to have your eyes and your ears available. So uh, it's, it, yeah, it's 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 pretty hard. Uh, yeah. So. But the reason I do it like this, like uh, t 15 minutes uh, and then 15 minutes and then a long break and then 15 minutes and then a long break, is that I uh, I don't do it because I think it's the, it's a good way. I do it because it for me it's the only way. If I don't do it like this, I quit. Uh, it's I don't ha I don't I don't have a choice. It's not uh, yeah. it's not a method that I choose. It's the only method that allows me to work that much. Because uh, uh, yeah, if I don't take breaks all the time, I just I quit. I I become I become like bored and I I I feel like it's overwhelming and uh, I start asking myself questions like Is it really worth it? Uh, uh, I, uh, all right. Why am I doing this? It's not even that good and. Uh, you know, but uh, yeah, I I got those issues uh, doing my homework as well. Oh uh, so, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I can. Uh, <laughs> yeah, same. This I can see what what it is. Yeah. Yeah, I, I basically stopped doing my homework when I was in ninth grade because of that. Because it's just <laughs> it feels so so worthless, so um, useless. Yes. Uh, so. Yeah. Uh, but uh, oh, wow. I mean, I, I, I suppose that now it's uh, much more important for you <laughs> if you're at the university <laughs> for uh, astrophysics. H how can you ha have the time to manage a meme page and a YouTube channel and study astrophysics at the same time? Because that, that sounds like uh, um, these studies would <laughs> take a lot of time, no? Yeah, well, it, it, uh, it, it does, but um, well, I... I uh, tend to postpone my homework um, <laughs> <laughs> and to uh, like make memes and, and other hobbies uh, instead so it's it's it doesn't really go well together like maybe if I had a uh, a, a better schedule <laughs> like <laughs> yeah then, then it would be possible but right now uh, well it's always like one of those three things uh, are not going well <laughs> and it's it, it varies from time to time yeah, uh, yeah. which one like uh, doesn't go well who the fuck decided that there are only 24 hours in a day that's not enough yeah <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah yeah I, I i had that problem like a long time like i just don't have the time for everything i want to do yeah. that's well right now i i just wish i uh uh, could use my time uh, more efficiently, yeah. which well, you, you've you've inspired me uh, to, <laughs> to do it uh, like you uh, oh. are doing right now. So <laughs> yeah. thanks for that. <laughs> so yeah, so, uh, I, at at a point I uh, I stopped sleeping. <laughs> like I I slept <laughs> like uh, every other day, and uh, oh. It, it felt like, yeah and I was like sleep deprived all the time it was absolutely the worst yeah. thing but uh, I can imagine but, but, but yeah it's uh, it's uh, there's no really good um, thing and uh, basically what I do now is that I make to-do lists that are intentionally mm -hmm. with too much things on them like I, I fill them oh, with yeah. a lot of things, so if I cannot complete them, it's normal. That's the point. Because before I tried to make to-do list with uh, what I could do in a day, and when I could not do everything that was on the list, it felt like a failure. But now I intentionally make to-do lists that are way too long, and I, I just try to do as much as possible. And I just can, I, I just make to-do lists that are. Impossibly impossible to complete in a day. So if I if I cannot complete it, that's huh. normal because that's how it is. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's that's really interesting. It, it, it way for me it works. Yeah. Like uh, even if I do even if I do just one thing, well at least that that's one thing less. And um, for me it works. 
Yeah, um, I don't think it will work, or at least maybe it, it will work if I um, do it differently than I'm doing right now. Because what I do now is I do make to-do lists, um, and those to-do lists are too large. But um, um, then, if if I don't um, have like an order in which things to do, then I do whatever I think is um, uh, well, not the best, but uh, what I want to do. Mm. So mostly my hobbies <laughs> like go first, and then at the end of the day, I, I'm, I'm like, oh, I haven't done anything useful today. So yeah, I guess it, it that what you are doing would work for me if I only put things on the list that are necessary to do uh -huh. and I, when they have an order or else else that it wouldn't work for me yeah well there are two kinds of people uh, <laughs> the, the ones who prefer to do the hardest first so then uh, what they have to do um, it's it gets easier and easier so it, it, it feels mm -hmm. like uh, it, it, it feels nice or uh, the people who try to do the easiest first so it's kind of like a, a warm-up and then you go uh, harder and harder but uh, you know you have your um, you have your uh, a, a speed that picks up and and you get warmed up and um, I'm, I'm kind of a, I've always been kind of a sports uh, person and so uh, mm -hmm. I, it, it really makes sense for me this concept of warming up by something easy like uh, when I go at uh, when I go at the gym I take uh, uh, like uh, 16 kilo uh, dumbbells and do a farmer's carry uh, so that that warms me up nice it's it's easy um, uh, it's it's short and then I do something a little harder and then harder 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 and then the, the exercises that I that I hate that are the longest and the hardest I do it I do them at the end because by the end I I really arm I'm really warmed up and in the you know I'm in the heat of the moment in the thing the testosterone is up and so uh, it's um, mm -hmm. it's easier for me to do the hardest at the end and um, that's, that's yeah. Well, for for sports, it, that always works. Like for everyone, because if you yeah go and but do the hardest at, at the first, you're you're more vulnerable for for um, injuries. Uh, injuries. Yeah, of course. But for me, that works for everything. Uh, that's what I for do everything. for everything. Yeah. Like uh, if I have uh, stuff to do, like uh, uh, for example, uh, do uh, do a lot of laundry, and then. Uh, uh, do something a little harder like washing the dishes and then do something harder like cleaning the rat's cage uh, and uh, that that works for me if I try to do the, the hardest first then uh, I decide to take a break and then uh, suddenly I look at the time and uh, oh my break was like just five hours and uh, <laughs> uh, I don't I don't want to do anything now <laughs> let's go to bed <laughs> so uh, yeah. yeah 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 I uh, yeah I ne I don't really have a good um, perception of time when I'm busy, uh, so uh, sometimes uh, it, it seems like uh, it's too slow. Sometimes it seems like it's too fast. But uh, I um, when I take a break, I always take a break that is way too long. That is one of my problems. Mm -hmm. So uh, <laughs> oh yeah yeah I feel you yeah. <laughs> so uh, what I do usually is that. Um, I, I've tried like like uh, for example going on Facebook because I uh, when I'm on f my phone or my computer I have the hour right in front of my eyes at all at all times. Mm -hmm. um, there's some weird noise coming from your mic, maybe your my mic. phone or something. There was some weird metallic noise. Yeah, like a couple seconds ago. Yeah, <laughs> someone tried to call me. Okay. <laughs> uh, so it's fine. So yeah, yeah. it's. Um, it's uh, it doesn't work. Even if I have the time right in front of my eyes, there is there will be a, a moment where I stop looking, and when I look again, three hours have elapsed, and I don't understand. Yeah, you're, 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 it's crazy. That's uh, that's uh, called uh, like in a flow, uh, being in a flow. Yeah, being in yeah. a flow of looking at memes on Tumblr or Facebook. <laughs> that always yeah. happens to me, and uh, also uh, I I uh, I. 
I'm like browsing Facebook and I see a post that makes me think of something else. So I go on Amazon because I remember I forgot to buy something, but I forgot what. And then I scroll on Amazon for a, for a while looking at what's on sale. <laughs> and then it makes me think about, I don't know, Steam. And then I go on Tumblr and then Reddit. And, uh, and then I, I, I receive a message from a, from a friend. So I, I uh, answer yeah, like the message. Yeah, like constantly distracted. And, uh, yeah, yeah. And, and the problem is that, is that I... I am um, choosing distractions, and then my distractions have distractions, because I know <laughs> I, I when I spend time on Facebook, I don't spend, I never spend like an hour on Facebook. I spend five minutes, and then I do something else, and five minutes, and then I do something else, because uh, uh, otherwise you you go crazy spending a. Spending an hour on Facebook and then you just want to yes. eat yourself out the window. Um, but you know, five minutes, it's it's cool. And then you go on Twitter, just one minute, because uh, Twitter gets on your nerves really fast. And then you go on Reddit, you read a few threads for a half an hour, and then you scroll Tumblr for 15 minutes. And then you on Instagram, mm. 10 minutes of Instagram, and and uh, and then you're a lot of a lot of time a post makes you think of something and so you go check on wikipedia oh uh when did mozart uh die oh uh what's uh the name of that flower oh uh, what's this 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 and that uh how many genes uh uh how many chromosomes does the rat have uh <laughs> i remember it's yeah, 42 I mean, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah but but you know um when, when you're like going through memes and such, um, it, it's 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 it seems like a bad habit. But when you're having a conversation with someone new, like I can imagine that it would be a, a good habit because then a conversation never gets uh, like silent or or yeah or about nothing, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I see what you mean. Um, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but that's like racing minds. Yeah, yeah, that that's what I that's what I do all the time anyway. So I don't, I <laughs> I, I kind of forgot uh, what it is to do things differently. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> for me, it works, uh, and uh, so I don't see any reason to stop doing it. But because of that, I forget a lot of things. And so, uh, what, oh, yeah. so I, I can imagine. I, yeah. I use <laughs> I use a lot of post its, and I, like I have physical post its on my desk, and then I, yeah, I yeah. have two apps to remind me of doing things, and it's not always <laughs> enough. And uh, it's uh, I also uh, uh, like uh, sometimes I, I tell my friends, hey, uh, on that day, remind me that, and, and then it's hey Google, remind me on that, and yes, yeah, so, <laughs> and then uh, I send emails to myself. Uh, to remind me that it's not always um, enough so uh, yeah but I'm late on everything but in the end I do uh, I do all I need to do so um, it oh, kind it's, yeah that's, that's great <laughs> yeah <laughs> like I I, I, um, I don't have like um, a, a very distracted mind like a constant distractions but um, I also have um, like a lot of post-it. My my desk is crowded with post-its, mm -hmm. just because I I tend to forget things uh, anyway. So <laughs> like my 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 desk is filled with things that I have to do w somewhere this week, or <laughs> just no labeling. Just they're they're all over my desk, but it it does help. Yeah. So so. In the end, I I I I all I, I do all the things that I need to do, but it it does. Um, it, I don't know if it's the best way to 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 do things, like to remember things. Mm. Well, I, if it works, it's a good way. I think if you find a way that works, yeah, I guess it doesn't matter if you use your head or a notebook or an app. If mm. it works, it works. Uh, yeah, some people don't use an agenda, like a physical agenda. Yeah, and some people that do. That is incredible. Those people are like superheroes. Like that's a, that's a superpower. That is crazy. Like the people who need need to make uh, agendas. Yeah, it's yeah right. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> without an agenda, I I 
forget like everything. I forget to go to the doctor. I forget <laughs> forget <laughs> I forget my own birthday. <laughs> forget <laughs> everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without agendas, uh, there uh, there's no Where way would I'm gonna be. <laughs> there's no way I'm I'm gonna do anything. Uh, I would just mm -hmm. keep forgetting everything. I, I would even forget the name of my friends. Sometimes I have to look <laughs> at the names again because it's, it's hard. But I don't really have a distracted mind, I would say. I'm not... I, no, actually, I mean, I'm not easily distracted when I'm concentrating on something. I can concentrate. I don't have any concentration issues. Um, it's just that I, I find it really tiring. Uh, and uh, doing a lot of things at the same time gives me more energy. And uh, doing one thing at a time makes me exhausted. So uh, I, when I do uh, uh, one thing and one thing and one thing, and um, you know, if if I'm watching, even if I'm watching a movie, I gotta take a look at my phone uh, like every few minutes. Otherwise, uh, you know, really? at the end of the movie, I'm like completely uh, dead. I'm, I'm uh, you know, em I feel like em huh. empty and drained and I, I got I to gotta rest. Uh, that, that's why uh, for a while I tried to do video game Let's Plays. And so uh, when, I, when I did a Let's Play, I was like really concentrated on the game. And also I uh, had to talk uh, to the mic to try to be entertaining. And uh, it was not live, it was like uh, recorded. When it's live, it's better because uh -huh. there is a chat. So I can talk with people at the same time I'm playing. That's much, much better for my brain. But uh, when I'm like just uh, playing the game and, and talking at the same time and recording, after 45 minutes, I am <laughs> dead. It, it feels like I used to be a factory worker uh, for a few, uh -huh. some years ago. And uh, after 45 minutes of Let's Play, I am more tired than after eight hours at the factory. Uh, it's, uh -huh. it's, uh, it's <laughs> like being inside, of, being inside of my own mind. Uh, it's, uh, it's exhausting. It's really exhausting. Okay. That's why I'm always doing right. something, listening to music, watching a video on Facebook, uh, being like uh, playing with my rats. Um, you know, it, it, can, it can be anything, reading a book, it, it, uh, playing video games, it doesn't matter. But um, if I'm too much inside of my own mind and uh, uh, that's, uh, have, even having a conversation can be, can be hard. That's why I don't record uh, podcast episodes very often. I usually do once a month. Because uh, that's uh, yeah. for me to uh, be inside a conversation for uh, more than an hour. It's, it's really, really difficult. So uh, I can do it, yeah. but I could not do it every day. Uh, but uh, I, I used to be a vendor um, uh, in, a, in a shop, uh, in some uh, shop that sold like salads and sandwiches and uh, uh, beverages. Oh, yeah, you know? like a, gr a grocer. Not really. It was more like a oh. self-service. Uh, oh, okay. It was kind of like a, a restaurant, but also they sold uh, to-go. Uh, but It was kind of like a, a, a McDonald's, but classy. I would say it's, it's, <laughs> it's kind of like that, you know. It's kind of bit between because uh, we sold a little, a lot of fresh uh, salad with uh, top shelf ingredients, but it was kind of like a fast food too in the way it was um, uh, organized, uh, but not really, uh, you know. And um, because of that, um, a lot of stuff that we sold uh, had some kind of odd ingredients, not really common in them. So uh, a lot of people. Um, you, I, a, lot, a big part of my job was to give advice and answer questions uh, of people like oh, what exactly is in this sandwich uh, uh, oh, what, right. what does yeah. it taste like Do, would you recommend it uh, to me because I like this and that uh, what's, uh, what's acai juice what's that uh, uh, and uh, so um, I love that that was, that was great you know having this short conversations you know because when you uh, yeah, they, when you they, when you try to yeah. to upsell you always try to upsell because that's your job basically and also it's <laughs> and, yeah. and also it's fun uh, and uh, <laughs> uh, having these uh, fast conversations that was were all, always like 10 minutes uh, at, at most uh, usually even less that that feels good that's great that's uh, yeah, that, that keeps you off uh, of the work uh, like for I mean for a couple minutes yeah Yes and no, because that's your job. I mean, well, yeah, I, I, it, is, it is your job, but, but it keeps uh, it, it, it's it's um, like a, a bit different. So you don't have to do 
uh, the same thing for hours. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, so, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it is technically the same thing, but it's not like having a conversation with one person for a, for a long time. Like, let's say having a conversation with one person for two hours it is much harder for me than having a conversation with a hundred people for two hours you know one after oh, the yeah. other after the other uh, and, and it's it's uh, oh, it's <laughs> the same it's it's one of the reasons that I am not into cinema it's hard for me to, to uh, watch a movie from start to finish uh, but, I, but I love TV shows especially one with uh, my favorite TV shows has 10 minutes episodes mm. I don't know if you know it but if you don't uh, you have to watch it. It's called Xavier Renegade Angel. All right. Did you see that show? No. You no, have I've to. Never even heard have, of it. You have to watch it now. <laughs> I mean, not right now, but. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Note it somewhere, and um, it's um, make it another post it, and it's a really, really great. Yeah. It's a really, really great show for uh, from um, like about. 10 years ago it was on Adult Swim I suppose you know Adult Swim it's the yeah, TV yeah. channel that uh, where there's Rick and Morty and all that Rick and Morty yeah. yes, and, yes um, I'm familiar <laughs> uh, so it's the same TV channel but uh, yeah a really really great show really fast it looks weird it all looks like PlayStation 2 or Nintendo 64 graphics because it's CGI but it's not really good CGI uh, and uh, <laughs> but um, what's great about this show is the dialogue is so good it's really fast there's a lot of puns and there's a lot of you know play on words and, and uh, a lot of jokes oh, like, yeah. uh, and uh, it's really really great um, and if you like like memes and cheat posting it's uh, it's kind of the, the same um, the same spirit it's kind of in, in dialogue form yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah really uh. um, and uh, it's a great inspiration for me um, I've watched it <laughs> yeah. so many times sounds good I'm gonna watch it <laughs> yeah, yeah it's epic Xavier Renegade Angel it's uh, really really funny but also smart uh, it's, uh, it's it's everything that Rick and Morty is trying to be and kind of failing like I don't hate Rick and Morty it's good but it's not one of the best shows I have ever watched it's 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 cool. No, it's not the best. No, no. It's, it's not. It's it's, it's it's fun. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> it's uh, it's a solid six to a light seven, uh, out mm -hmm. of, out of ten. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, I I think Savior is, and above and beyond, uh, what um, what Rick and Morty tries to be and um, I would say um, if Rick and Morty is Call of Duty, then uh, Savior is Half Life. Is um, <laughs> you, you, see, you see what I mean? Yeah, yeah. By the way, I suppose you don't have the time at the moment, but do you play video games? Oh yes, I do. Uh, even now? Well, no, not right now. No, no my, but, not, uh, not right now. But you know, with the studies and the memes and all that. Oh yeah, yeah, I. Uh, oh, I get it. And... You have no friends. <laughs> That's why you have so much free time. You don't. Yes. Oh. That's how I do it. <laughs> oh, you 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 uh, have no social life. That's uh, I. Well, I, barely. I Let's would, say barely. <laughs> I would I would advise against that. It's not great for mental health, especially if you're doing something stressful like astrophysics studies. Uh, it's always <laughs> great to have your friends and family to. Uh, have a shoulder, not a shoulder to cry on, not really, but uh, you know, <laughs> get your head off things. Uh, meme, yeah, memes, are, meme, memes are great, but friends are better. <laughs> um, yeah, I know it's That's uh, very true. I very mean, true. and you're at the age where it's kind of easy to make friends. I, I, you're in your early 20s, right? Well, yeah, I suppose it, it gets harder after, it <laughs> after does, a couple of years, it yes. does get much harder really fast like when you hit the big 25 that's <laughs> everything changes uh and uh, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, yeah yeah when you're when you are gonna hurry. when you get to 25 <laughs> you're not young anymore and the rules are different uh making <laughs> making friends is harder everything is harder going upstairs is harder but um yeah uh I would advise to try to make uh, as much friends as you can uh, 
now definitely with, now with you the right age and it's right time for you uh, but uh, we were talking about video games so what video games do you yeah. play <laughs> which video games um, what are your favorites what do you play at the moment um, like at the moment Far Cry 5 Oh, um, I didn't even I'm know a big that fan there of was the Far Cry series. I did not even know that there was a Far Cry Five. I, I remember, <laughs> I remember when Far Cry Four got released, and I, I, I kind of feel like it was like last year. Uh, these guys, these are kind of big games, so uh, I don't. It's good. Uh, PlayStation Four, oh, I yeah. suppose. Uh, no, I'm a, I, I'm a only a PC gamer. I didn't know that Far Cry was on PC. I, two, <laughs> that is two. Uh, knowledge that I've gained <laughs> in 30 <laughs> seconds. Okay. Yeah, but um, next to Far Cry, I'm. Um, what, else, what other games am I playing? Um, well, mostly uh, like shooters, uh-huh. uh, FPS games, uh-huh. Star Wars Battlefront 2, like yeah. those kind of shooters. Uh huh, okay. Um, that's the that's majority of it. I hope you. Uh, I read it and didn't buy it, Battle of, Battle of <laughs> no, Two, because uh, you know, because of all that, uh, what had happened with the loot boxes and everything. Um, oh yeah, that's that's gone now. Uh, oh really? Mo- totally. Mostly. Okay. Uh, well, not totally, but um, well, um, it mo- it's mostly gone, and it's a great game, and I got it very cheap. <laughs> so uh, yeah, yeah, do it's a great you, game. Do you prefer like? Um, Online multiplayer shooters or uh, like story mode. What, what what do you prefer? Um, I can enjoy both. Okay. Um, I mean, I I can uh, have a lot of fun with um, yeah with uh, uh, how did you, how did you just call it um, like multiplayer uh, shooters, uh-huh. but also um, uh, like Life is Strange. Uh, uh, that's it's very enjoyable. Okay, that's so, uh, very different from a shooter. It really doesn't matter. But, yeah, yes, okay. it, it, it is very different. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, if you that's li- a great story. If you oh, yeah. liked Life is Strange, uh, I did you try The Beginner's Guide? I'm, I'm sorry? The Beginner's Guide. Beginner's Guide? Yeah. No. It's great. Uh, it's shorter and simpler than Life is Strange. Um, but it's uh, it's it's like it's a great story in video game form, and uh, if I think you would probably love it, uh, it's uh, you are trying to. Um, it's hard to describe really, even if the the, the concept is really simple. But um, yeah, the beginner's guide. Um, it's it's pretty great, and it's about uh, it's about video games, but also it's about friendship and psychology. And uh, uh-huh. it's uh, it's short. You can finish it in like two or three hours. Uh, so I would advise to get it on sale because uh, it's <laughs> it's not exact. It, it like it's a great experience, uh, and uh, you know it's it's almost like a movie because it's not really a game. It's uh, I mean, what is a game? You could ask the the, the question, but uh, you know it's not really it's. As far from Tetris uh, as it as possibly can, like it's like basically the opposite uh-huh. of the old. Uh, <laughs> it's basically the opposite of Pac-Man and Space Invaders. It's just it's like being in a movie. You don't really play. You advance. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like uh, it, it, these walking simulators that some people uh, talk about, and um, you you go. Do you know? Uh, do you know the game uh, Late Shift? No, I haven't heard it, about it. That is uh, really the um, uh, like a game that is in the middle of uh, what we call a game and what we call a movie because uh-huh. it's it's filmed with real people and act- oh. actors. Okay. And but um, it does uh, you do have choices. You just make choices uh-huh. all the time. So it's uh, you can um, choose. How the movie is gonna be? Uh-huh. Yeah. What do, what is gonna happen? Yeah. And that's kind of like it's really a... interesting. I don't have the game, uh-huh. um, but uh, I've watched uh, like a YouTube video about it, and it it looks great because it's just 
couple of actors who uh, and it's a really good story by the way and you have a lot of choices and they really impact uh, uh, the rest of the game yeah kind of like plumbers don't wear ties I suppose Mm, don't know that one. Uh, Plumbers Don't Wear Ties is a game that I think was released in 1993 on Philips. Oh, that's why. On Phil- <laughs> Philips CDI or uh, on uh, the Mega Drive 32X Mega CD thing. Not sure, but it's one of these. Uh, yeah, it's one of these early games where it's uh, uh, kind of like a movie or. Uh, uh, there was one that was kind of like a horror game too. I don't remember the name, mm. but um, I'm sure there's like an AVGN uh, video a- about it. And um, yeah. yeah, 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 that it was it was kind of fun. Uh, also, uh, more seriously, there was this game that was just like um, um, a cartoon, uh, but uh, you had to uh, to play. Um, even if uh, it looked, it it was all pre-rendered. Um, mm-hmm. That uh, I forgot the name, but it's like really old. Like I think it's um, from the from the eighties. Um, yeah, I'll, like, I I doubt I'll know it, but <laughs> uh, I I, for, I forgot the name, but it's like it's like really famous, and uh, you're like a, a knight, and uh, you're against dragons and shit. And um, and uh, yeah, it was pretty uh, pretty impressive because uh, it was basically pre-rendered stuff, and based on your input, uh, you would either die or go to another uh, stage. And uh, mm. also, also, of course, a game uh, with the actual actors and pre-rendered stuff that kind of looked. Uh, like a movie, but you had a lot of choice and puzzles. It's the Mist uh, series. I, I remember I really loved Riven, but uh, they uh, they had they had like five or six games uh, in total. I, I, you've played Mist? No, it's pretty. No. Great. It's pretty great. Uh, have you played that game from a couple years ago called The Witness? Nope, I haven't heard of it either. <laughs> okay. So it's uh, it's kind of similar, but I suppose that it doesn't <laughs> say anything to you. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, wh- what about um, if I asked you to give the name of a game that is uh, not super famous, but in your opinion, underrated? It doesn't matter if it's recent or old. Um, underrated. Um... Um, let me think. Um, I think, um, well, a game that is, um, uh, like still in early access and uh-huh. is also what the, my next video is going to be about. Oh. Um, uh, and it hasn't really had a lot of attention, but it's called Satisfactory. Oh, yeah. Oh, actually, I heard about it a lot. Uh, a lot. Yeah. Of, uh, many people have right. recommended it to me. Uh, <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah. It's it's it's, it's uh, well. You, you know what it's about. Yeah. Or? Yeah. 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 It's um, yeah. Okay. Satisfactory. It, I, I personally I haven't heard of it until uh, a friend recommend recommended it to me, and I thought it was great, and it it really needs more attention. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, it seems it seems really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've uh, I suppose I will grab it if it's on a on a Steam sale or something like that. Yeah, it's about thirty dollars, but yeah. or euros. <laughs> I ne- yeah, I never um, buy games in early access. The only the only games that I got in early access is because people had gifted them to me. Um, but uh, ah. but yeah, I, I'm not a fan of the concept of early access. I I, I think it's. Uh, I don't. I don't like that. Uh, so I, I. I. don't buy games in early access. But uh, I suppose. Yeah, this. This was the first uh, game that I bought in early access yeah. as well. But I, I guess. Like, I guess that sometimes, if like. Uh, I don't know. Um, I. I wouldn't. But I'm not. Uh, you know. I don't judge you if uh, the game looks cool. The game looks really cool. I mean, I understand. Yeah. Um, 
but yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's especially the pre-orders that I would really avoid. I mean, the only the only game I pre-ordered in my life was Pokemon Sun because I already had played like seven Pokemon games before and I liked them all. So, oh yeah, you know, it's, when, when it's uh, when it's series of games, then you know you're gonna buy it anyway. They're all pretty much right? the same anyway. They're not really that different from another, so you know you're gonna like it. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It would have been really, really... Actually, I didn't like it that much, but, you know, it was fine. Um, I got uh, I got Ultra Moon recently, and uh, they fixed a lot of the, the issues that uh, made uh, Sun and Moon not that great. So uh, that's, that's pretty cool. And um, I don't know if you're into Pokemon at all, or... Uh, um, well, a bit, not not that much. I mean, but it's it's one of the games like well, everyone has pl- has played it. Like it's one of the <laughs> universal things. It's like a Big Mac. Even if you're not a fan of fast food, you have had at least one in your life. It's uh, yeah. It's uh, you know one of these beacons of humanity uh, that uh, we can use uh, to uh, compare things to because uh, everyone knows what it's like. <laughs> No. Yeah, though I'm more of a cheeseburger kind of guy, but <laughs> I, I have yeah. tried the Big Mac once. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose I like everyone the, does. The, I like the the triple cheese. I don't you know, I don't know if you have it in uh, Netherlands, Netherlands, but uh, yeah. we have the the, the uh, it's like a double cheese, but it's instead of having two patties and two cheeses, it has three patties and three cheeses. That's a tr- triple. So isn't that just a quarter pounder? No, I don't, I don't know because we don't have the quarter pounder here, so I oh. don't know what. Well, that maybe is. it's just we call it a quarter quarter pounder because I've never heard of a triple cheese, uh-huh. so okay. I, I guess it's just uh, given a name. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. My my favorite uh, is the. You probably don't know about it because it's only available in France and Russia and Australia. It's the Royal mm-hmm. Royal Deluxe. And also, that's okay. that's it's a different name in the on in in uh, elsewhere. So uh, it's that's only the French name, uh, but uh, it's it's pretty great. I don't know. If, if, have you ever been uh, here? Because we're kind of not really far. In France. Yeah. Well, um, like when I was two years old. But oh. Okay. Uh, uh, oh no! Wait, and and a couple of years ago, like on a school trip, uh-huh. um, there was a for for. A, like five days in uh, in uh, in Paris. Okay. Do you like yeah, it? It was great, but yeah. other than that, I've I haven't really been to a yeah on a holiday like okay. yeah, really yeah. seen much of it except for um, like the highlights in Paris. You know the the tourist stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not the greatest part of the city. You, in my opinion, and I, I suppose you you doubt that. Um, but um, yeah. Um, what? Have you ever been to the Netherlands? Uh, I have been once, but actually I got stuck inside the Schiphol airport, and so I couldn't see any <laughs> any of the city because there was a there was a, a some weird thing with um, the weather, uh, and uh, there was a problem that uh, uh, a lot of fog or, or something like that, and uh, because of that, I I, uh, I didn't really see the country, but I did stay. 48 hours in Amsterdam, stuck inside Schiphol. Stuck in, oh my god, stuck inside the airport. Yep, so, uh, <laughs> I, that's the, I, I, that's plan to, I plan to come uh, pretty soon. I, I wanna, I'm, I'm kind of planning a, a tour of Europe uh, probably next year, and uh, I, huh. I know that I want to visit Portugal, and, um, Greece, and yeah, I probably will go to uh, the um, the I, we call we call them the low countries uh, because it's uh-huh. because you yeah. have, you have okay. no no mountains. Um, so uh, probably next year, yeah. Ah, yeah, that's great. <laughs> so um, yeah, you live in um, Amsterdam or? Uh? Uh, no, 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 in uh, a city called Nijmegen. Um. When did you start your meme page and why? Um, I'm not sure actually. I think it is. It was in 2016 somewhere, but I uh-huh. might be wrong about that. Maybe earlier. Um, or well, I didn't uh, um, 
create the page. I, I got on there when it had uh, like 15,000 likes. Okay. Um, so, then it, well, it was still um, like a smaller page, um, like a really small page. Um, and yeah, I, I think it was 2016 when I got on there and since then it's um, it's been uh, well, er, like I said, it was me and the old uh, main admin. Now it's mostly me. And uh, what decided you to get on board and and to stay after that? Oh yeah, I was uh, actually invited because I had uh, another meme page. I still have another meme page, um, though I I'm not up uploading on that one anymore. Uh, it's called Irony Guy. Uh huh. And um, well, I was kind of trying to uh, run along with um, um, like uh, pages like Special Meme Fresh and Meme Lads, uh -huh. and um, yeah, uh, also uh, Ravioli Boy. Yeah. Um, but well, um, like uh, I think it was like maybe half a uh, half a year ago. I decided, well, I, I didn't really have time uh, for running both uh, with memes like, like these and Irony Guy, so I uh, stayed with, with memes like these. Mm -hmm. um, did you did you follow a lot of meme pages at the time or...? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, I followed like... Um, well, I wouldn't say all of them, but <laughs> I was pretty damn close. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Right now, that's um, really difficult to follow everything, but yeah, of course. Uh, although there's a lot of pages that have died quite recently, so it's uh, there are not so many, so many anymore. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, there's a lot that are created every day, of course. Yeah. Um, when uh, and where did you find out about the the meme um, weird Facebook thing? Um, oh yeah, I um, let's see if I remember. Oh yeah, it's uh, yeah I was um, like put in a Facebook uh, meme group, which has uh -huh. said something to do with um, like the skeleton uh, Mr. Skeletal uh, meme uh -huh. and. Um, there, that was the first time I learned uh, about this, the, those kind of uh, memes. Because before then, I was still like a, a nine gagger, I think, or something oh, like okay. that. <laughs> and okay. um, well, I was invited, and and then I, um, well, I, I immediately immediately saw the humor in it, and mm -hmm. um, asked so that Facebook friend. Like, do you know more uh, pages like this? And he was like, "Oh yeah, sure, here are some." And then I just got into it um, yeah, and found okay. all these meme pages that I had no clue about uh, before. <laughs> and it's been a wild okay. ride ever since. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I imagine. So uh, it's been the the meme, uh, the exposure to the meme scene and culture and. Uh, that has been mostly through Facebook for you. You have not been really on 4chan or Reddit or Tumblr. No, at all. I didn't really like um, uh, 4chan, and uh -huh. yeah, I think Facebook was was enough uh, uh, for me. Uh, I didn't okay. really have. Um, I didn't really need to go to other platforms to get my daily dose of memes. I guess. <laughs> yeah, I see. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah, of course, uh, there's a, a lot on, on Facebook now, and uh, it was kind of sudden. I, I remember it was between the end of 2014 and the beginning of 2015. There was, like, not a lot, and suddenly a lot. It was it was uh, pretty surprising, but it was really cool. Um, and, uh, okay, so you have been uh, into memes for... Uh, not really a long time, so I, I guess since uh, 2016. Uh, well, in, in, into um, uh, like the kind of memes uh, I enjoy today, yeah. That's since, since, or maybe 2015. Okay. And um, 
what uh, decided you to start a YouTube channel? Um, I think I um, I just wanted to do more than just Facebook, and I saw um, well, um, the YouTube channel of the meme lads, like uh, Special Meme Fresh uh -huh, and such. Yeah. And, yeah. and I was like, hmm, maybe I one day I'll do that. And then mm -hmm. uh, your channel and uh, Ravioli Boy's channel also popped yeah. up. And I was like, hmm, maybe uh -huh. why not just start now? Or like when when I have, have some ideas about content I should make. Mm -hmm. And we'll see how that, how that goes. And since then, well, like a couple months now, I... Uh, and try to do my best, I think. <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, it's never too early or never too late to start. The better time is always now. Yeah. And um, w what content do you want to um, produce for uh, the channel? Did you really think about it? Um, well, I'm I'm gonna do like uh, I'm kind of exploring. Like right now, I'm um, yeah. doing videos. Uh, well, it started with a bunch of nonsense and things I maybe want to get back to, but not right now I'm exploring uh, gaming while uh, uh -huh. uh, discussing a subject so um, and, and not just really focusing on the gameplay that that's just something to do while I'm talking about those subjects and okay um, well I mean um, maybe that's what I'm gonna do for for the next couple of months now but maybe I find uh -huh. something different. Um, that suits me better. Um, I'm I'm still exploring what to do, really. Yeah, it's always by practicing that you find what you really like. It's just uh, yes, indeed. Yeah, um, mo month after month, it uh, it becomes clear. It's never clear in the beginning. And um, yeah, do you do you watch a lot of YouTube, like outside of the shit post sphere? Uh, and if yes, what's your favorite YouTube channel or channels? Oh yes, indeed. Um, uh, like a, uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, someone said, "Bro, you watch more uh, videos uh, in a month than I do in a year." <laughs> so <laughs> that probably gives you an image of how much YouTube I, uh, yep. how much time I spend on YouTube and well, also ne Netflix. Uh -huh. um, and well, my favorite channels, I think. Um, I think the right answer would be yours. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> you yes, yes. You, you don't, you're don't you're do in that. my top uh, in, 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 my, in my top five. Like I don't really have a, a number one, <laughs> but like a, the the, 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 the YouTube channels that I frequently uh, watch and those that I sometimes watch. So that's the, the, your channel and um, H2O Delirious. Okay, yeah. And um, well, a couple of Dutch channels, uh, uh -huh. mostly gaming. Okay. Um, I think those are my favorites, yeah. Ah, I feel like I just gave you Stockholm Syndrome. I'm uh, feeling a bad about this. <laughs> be, be, be honest, of course, but uh, if if it was, then I'm very flattered. And, uh, yeah, I it, was, it was. I appreciate the compliment. Uh, and, um, what um, you talked about Netflix what are your favorite uh, TV shows it doesn't have to be on Netflix by the way it's just uh... um, my TV shows my favorites are I think um, uh, like the DC and and Marvel uh, TV shows are really okay. enjoyable okay um, yeah <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty much into uh, uh, yeah, like the, the the superhero uh -huh. movies and and things, but I guess my favorite TV show is The Punisher. Oh yeah, I heard a lot of good things about it. Yeah, uh, especially the first season. And uh, so, hey, by the way, what which Spider Man is the best Spider Man? The first, second, oh no, or, or third? <laughs> um, well. I guess um, um, the first Spider-Man was the best Peter Parker. Yeah, yeah. And the second was the best 
Spider-Man. Uh-huh. And the 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 third was yeah, somewhere in between, like the best of both, I guess, or not the uh-huh. best of both, but yeah, I like see what you mean. A good in between thing. Uh, so, oh, by the way, you watch a, what uh, you watch a lot of Marvel and DC, so you have to have a favorite superhero. Well, I think the Flash is my favorite because it's um, well, the TV shows is not the best, but it's enjoyable, and the hero itself. Uh, I think is the best. Well, I I thought I was the only one on Earth to have my, the Flash as my favorite, but <laughs> I was not expecting that answer. And it's it's really cool. It's also my favorite. Do you have a favorite super villain? Like in TV shows or also movies? Or comics? Also, it doesn't matter. Oh yeah. Uh, well, I games. haven't really read comics, so I guess Thanos still has to be. Uh, the best villain. And um, okay, uh, are you into music at all? Um, yeah, uh, it's. I'm um, though I'm pretty unoriginal when it comes to music. I I am. Uh, I really dig the just the top forty kind of music, just the most popular things. Yeah, it's fine. Nobody is really original. It's uh, it's a myth. Originality is uh, is is bullshit in my That's opinion. That's true. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, there wouldn't be popular music, of course. But yep. <laughs> but yeah, I'm. Uh, though okay. my playlist is very diverse. Uh-huh. Uh, like I make uh, some playlists on uh, Spotify, but um, I I just can't put it on shuffle because it could be uh, like a normal top forty song, mm-hmm. and then it can be Christmas music. I've got. <laughs> everything okay. in the same playlist <laughs> and I, I always plan to to sort that out but I never do because it's it's so hard it's so much same, time it's the same for me I have the exact same playlist and I gave up years ago like I've, I've started doing that playlist I remember it was in 2006 and uh, I was uh, on something that I died a long time ago called Radio Blog Club it was like uh-huh. the ancest- it was the ancestor of Spotify, and uh, and uh, yeah. After Radio Block Club, I was on Deezer, and after Deezer, I was on Spotify, and then I was on Google Play Music, and now I use uh-huh. YouTube Music, and I, I have the same playlist that I keep importing from service to service, uh, recreating, and uh, uh-huh. of course, every year I add a few new tracks. Um, every time I, I find an album that I like, but um, basically it's the same playlist that I've been expanding on from for twelve or thirteen years, and I never sorted it out because <laughs> yeah, after a few, after a few years I just gave up. I used to have like playlists for sports, playlists for work, playlists for chilling at home, uh, playlists for going out to the park, and uh, <laughs> and yeah. then after. And then after a while, I, I tried different. I tried uh, jazz playlist, metal playlist, techno playlist. Didn't work yeah. uh, also. And then I and then after that, I I um, I did by uh, by decade, you know, seventies, eighties, nineties. No, no, that's the, what I did. I I sorted it by old music, yeah. um, like before my time, and then new music and <laughs> Christmas music. <laughs> so, and, and, so I had like no, four playlists, but. N- None of no, the just, cla- none of the classification systems I tried really worked for me. So now I have just one playlist with yeah. everything, and uh, it kind of works. I mean, for me, it does. Yes, yeah, it's, but it's it's, it's kind of like a Russian roulette when you yep. press shuffle. <laughs> I, I like to live dangerously, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if the Slipknot and then Britney Spears and then Beethoven right after. It's yeah. from, it's cool. Yeah, and you mentioned uh, uh, YouTube music. Uh, I, I haven't even like uh, given it a, a look because uh, is it just uh, is it with or without clips? Uh, it's with, uh, f- but 
I mean, some songs have clips and some don't. It's uh. it's both. It's a mix of both actually. And right. you can and you can have like video mode or audio only. You you choose. Oh, right. Yeah. I mean, and, and you can choose. Uh, you can change at any moment, of course. Uh, even if you're like listening to a playlist, you click to video mode and the clip will start popping up. And what's yeah, cool can, can you is download like um, like not really download, but say you don't yeah. have internet for uh, yes. for a while, can you like Yes. Sort of download it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, yeah. It's I, it's actually really really similar to Spotify in terms of how it works uh, and the, the interface and everything. Uh, the big difference I would say is that well, first uh, when you subscribe to YouTube Music, you have a free YouTube Premium, so oh. that's that's very cool. Uh, you have a lot of cool functions, and the best for me about YouTube Premium is that. Uh, the creators uh, get more money when I watch their videos uh, instead oh, really? of really yeah oh. it's like at least for, from three times to ten times more money instead of it was if it was ads uh, I mean I, I, do, I do disable ad blocker when I watch uh, YouTube videos just yeah to respect well, the creators <laughs> yeah I, I used to uh, but uh, it was annoying to like disable enable disable and um, uh, now I have YouTube Premium, so I, I, I even have no ads on mobile. Um, uh. And uh, the creators that I watch get more money, so it's kind of a win for everyone. And yeah, um, and yeah it, it comes, uh, I mean, um, it's 10 euros per month, and you have YouTube Premium and um, YouTube Music. And what is cool with YouTube Music, what is the big difference between YouTube Music and Spotify, is that you can put the... Um, YouTube videos in your YouTube music playlist. So, huh. for ex for example, uh, I don't know. Uh, there's uh, R Rammstein. Uh, they don't have their music on streaming services, but there are some of their um, video clips, uh, music videos oh, on, yeah. U on YouTube. So you can add these inside the playlist, and uh, it basically you can add any YouTube video, and uh, the, the the audio will play just like if it was a song inside of your playlists. So uh, that's great. So and how uh, about uh, 10 hour videos? <laughs> I think that works. I mean, I don't see why not. <laughs> uh, uh, you can have a, a playlist of only Nyan, Nyan Cat for 10 hours. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like that, just uh, uh, um, or uh, you know, um, somebody once told me and then, and, and then it yeah. keeps on and then it keeps on coming from for 10 hours uh, and um, <laughs> I've, I've seen worse uh, just <laughs> night, night, nightcore or remix of whatever uh, country nightcore um, but um, yeah uh, I, I really like it because you, you can add uh, sometimes there are there are um, some uh, songs that, that they are on or like on the on the channel of some um, YouTube musician like for I don't know for example Andrew Huang or um, anyone else and um, uh, you can add uh, their songs uh, directly to your uh, YouTube uh, music playlists yeah, and also like covers you. right yeah of course I mean anything yeah. that is anything that is on YouTube yeah, any, that's, any video and that's um, great. Uh, also, uh, the difference between Spotify and YouTube Music, um, YouTube Music has more um, international uh, music, like uh, mu they have more music from uh, Europe and Japan and stuff like this. Uh, Spotify has more uh, stuff from uh, the US. Yeah. I, I, I find but uh, sometimes when I'm looking for a specific artist that I like from France or Germany or yeah Japan, then it isn't on Spotify uh, right? not always yeah uh, uh, but uh, on uh, on YouTube music uh, they, there is a lot of international uh, there is more music from the whole world uh, compared to Spotify yeah so that's yeah. why that's why I like it better but apart from these which are apart from these things it's really really similar like it, it works the same. The playlists uh, organization mm -hmm. is basically the same. Uh, the app is just basically the same interface. You, you can download on your phone uh, if you have no connection, etc. Cetera, et cetera. It's it's really it works the same way, you know. Uh, yeah. There's just this uh, di these differences. Oh. Yeah, well, I, I guess I'll uh, 
look into that too. <laughs> the list is getting pretty long right here <laughs> of things that I have to look up. Yeah. Uh, in my opinion, it's it's worth it's more worth it than um, than than Spotify, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, you know it's uh, it it for my use at least. And I remember that uh, in the in the years of uh, Google Play Music, you could upload your own music. I mean, uh, you when you say your own, I mean your collection, like CDs that you bought, and uh, mm -hmm. on, only you could listen to them. But they were like uh, on the cloud, so that was really cool. Yeah. That was really that was really practical. If you don't find, if you have a, if you have a, a CD at home, uh, but it's not on. Uh, the the app or the the service, you know, you can just upload it from your computer, and then you can listen to it at any time and put it inside your playlists. And uh, that was that was really cool. That was my favorite thing about Google Play Music. And I yeah. I think that they say that they're gonna uh, do the same in YouTube Music. Yeah, I, I believe iTunes said that uh, as well. Like, um, well, it, it but it takes some effort to. Uh, to get all your CDs on uh, on iTunes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, most of them, most of the music that I own is already there, but uh, it's so usually it's only uh, it's rare when I'm looking for an album and I don't find it. So it's not uh, you don't have to upload your whole collection. I just upload what I cannot find when it's not already there. Uh. So it's not uh, yeah, it's not that uh, that long usually. Um, man, what is your favorite meme of all time? Of all time? Yeah. Yeah, I think the, the memes that I like the most are the memes that uh, are standalone memes. Like, um, uh, yeah, like the surreal things. Those I like the most. Though, um, it, well, it, it, can really be called a, that, that's that's kind of an interesting thing. Can it then be called a meme? Because meme is about uh, repetition and imitation. Exactly. Technically, it's not a meme. Yeah. But uh, the, I, I think the meaning of meme has shifted, and since English is not at all a prescriptive language and all descriptive if the meaning changes like in uh, how people talk then that's uh, that's it these things are memes now I guess even if if you use the original definition they're not uh -huh. uh, but that's your uh, that's that's everyone's choice I guess to use the but yeah the, the meaning has shifted and basically now a lot of people um, I remember um, at first, a meme was like something that was identifiable and that you could like uh, mix with other things. Yeah, like uh, Rage Comics and such. Uh, before Rage Comics. Oh, it, yeah, it yeah. Actually, changed when Rage Comics arrived. It was one of the big shifts uh, because when Rage Comics started with all the rage faces. Uh, that uh, got really popular on 4chan and then died and then got even more popular on Reddit and 9gag. 9gag, uh, yeah. Yeah, that was like around 2011, uh, 2012, somewhere yeah. around that. Uh, then meme kind of changed to um, something more specific and uh, that went the, 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 and when the shift ended around 2014, um, People were just saying meme to say a funny picture or something yeah. that or something that went viral, uh, um, and um, yeah, it's um, it's a word that um, has been uh, yeah, it, it's been used a lot and uh, with more and more um, more and more different um, meanings, but. Yeah. Um, I'm wondering where uh, what what the definition of a meme will be in the next uh, couple of years. Like, yeah. will it have shifted? What will yeah, it be? <laughs> will, will How will the internet a, look? Yeah. Will there be a new word? Um, yeah. yeah. Or well, maybe I think I don't think the word meme will really die. Uh, probably not. But 
sometimes when something gets overused, uh, it's uh, I don't know. It, it I'm not sure. I'm not so sure. But uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Mm. Um, I mean, I, I can't say the same about the word shit posting because I think the word shit posting will die. Yeah. Because some people are like, well, it's not really shit posting if it's the average meme. Uh huh. If the average meme is a shit post, then nothing is a shit post. I mean, the the word shit post has always been vague, and uh, it That's has true. it has never originally it uh, meant uh, like in message boards when when someone. Uh, um, posted a message that was like off topic or uh, that was not helpful or uh, you know uh, didn't really um, answer the yeah the, the topic of the message thread that mm-hmm. that was called a shit post like uh, uh, when someone tries to derail a conversation or talks about something that has nothing to do or uh, someone asks like for a for, a, for example you're in like a, a technology um, help someone asks yeah or something is wrong with my PC and uh, and someone makes a joke uh, instead of answering the question that's yeah, a shit the, post. that's yeah, the, the origin the original <laughs> meaning of shit post yeah um, it, it it suits the word better than what we call shit posts now yeah and uh, I, I, it was actually quite recent uh, that the word shitpost changed uh, the meaning because there was a lot of... Um, I remember um, for a while there was this thing on Tumblr when people would make like these weird uh, posts that kind of that kind of sounded like the, the drill tweets, you know, or, uh, you know, these weird... Uh, yeah. Off offbeat posts that were not really, you know, just a little weird or just a little kind of stream of consciousness. Like when you have a weird thought and you write it uh, just after that, and uh, they called it night blogging because uh, it was like uh, blogging, but uh, at night when you're like falling asleep and your thoughts uh, become like <laughs> uh, w- weird and because uh, uh, yeah, and um, and suddenly. It became shit posting. Uh, it was at the same time uh, that f- weird Facebook became big. Uh, it was uh, 2014, and mm. uh, I no idea why and who started it uh, to use shit posting in that meaning. But uh, yeah, before that, there was not really a word for that. People just called it uh, on on Twitter. It was called weird Twitter. On Tumblr, it was called night blogging, and um, on Reddit and, and Facebook and, and 4chan, it didn't really have a, a name. And suddenly, someone around 2014 uh, decided to call all that shit posting. So uh, the term will probably die because it was, yeah, it was chosen obviously hastily. Yeah. Uh, to to uh, and it's uh, it's an umbrella term that uh, you know sometimes people it's something that I do a lot actually go on my Facebook page and I start blogging about random stuff that happens in my life that's shit posting yeah. posting a posting a weird picture of a dog that you found on yeah uh, like there are a lot Google of Facebook pages. groups uh, that end with shit posting like subjects shit yeah. posting. And um, well, that's kind of weird. How you can, because a group can't be all about shit posting because then uh, it's just a weird page, uh, yeah. uh, a group like Exa- uh, yeah, exactly. Like yeah, yeah, some course. someone can shit post, but not everyone. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. That that's why. Yeah, the term um, is uh, it's not a, it's not a good term anymore. Too- no. Uh, yeah, it, it's too vague, and it's uh, it's about too many different things that are, can be re- really different. Uh, and uh, like just posting a p- funny picture of a dog, it can be shit posting, and uh, yeah. you know, it's it's just so many things. Uh, and I, in general, what uh, most what these all have in common is the the spontaneity, the spontaneous. 
um, aspect of them. It's something that you post like without th really thinking about it. That's you yeah. know, it comes it comes out of your mind fast without uh, without filtering, without uh, you know, without a lot of uh, thinking about uh, making the thing good or whatever. You have these weird random thoughts, or you see these weird images and you share them like right away. Um, kind of in a in a stream of consciousness or a kind of like the uh, automatic kind of kind of like the automatic drawings of the surrealist movement uh, uh, 100 yeah, years ago that's probably uh, or that's um uh kind of like every time i um have the idea uh have an idea for a meme yeah um like i i, I suddenly think wait what if macaroni came in, in a glass yeah, and, and and I'm like, whoa! I'm gonna write that down because that's gonna make a good meme. Yeah, <laughs> and that's uh, well, exactly. Yeah, yeah. If it's off topic, then it's shit posting, of course. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, but if you're like, and that's why it's uh, that's why it's good and bad at the same time because, like, my page, for example, has no topic, so. Can it can is everything shit posting or is nothing shit posting? So that's why this term will probably die soon and we will get a new, better one. Plus, uh, you know, there's a lot of censorship, and when you say the word shit on a, a lot of platforms, you're not like banned, but you're <laughs> throttled. Yeah, you're, it is. It is like you see that there's a throttling going on. So um, yeah, since it uh, it's very reminiscent of um, the automatic writing and automatic drawings of the surrealist movement, I think maybe automatic posting or automata or like like uh, I don't know uh, something with auto 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 posting. Uh, I don't know, but um, that would be uh, that would be a good name. Yeah. <laughs> now uh. this all also gets me thinking because um, in the beginning we talked about bots. Yeah. Um, how about bots and shit posting? Sh shit post bot uh, five thousand yeah. is actually well. I think it's, it's more a meme bot than a shit posting bot. If we take yeah. the old definition of shit posting, right now it's yeah. it, shit post bot is. Like a good name, but in the yeah, old it, definition it, of shit posting, um, it it doesn't really suit uh, the term true. anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's absolutely true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, but yeah, it was shit post bot um, was created, uh, if I'm not mistaken, in two thousand and five. And that was at the height of the sheet posting movement when everyone was saying the word everywhere. And um, hmm. so uh, I think that having this name uh, helped it uh, gain like traction and, and attention from uh, uh, and, and uh, you know gather an audience because um, yeah she posting like was like in 2015 she posting was the word of the year uh, it was everywhere <laughs> it was it was uh, ubiquitous and overwhelming uh, when I changed my name I lost I think a thousand subscribers really which yes which is uh, well much less than one percent so it's almost nothing basically yeah okay that's right but it's still a lot. Like I, I, I don't know why people should leave when you just change the name of their page. A lot of people, especially on Facebook, hate change, and that has been the case for such a long time. Uh, every time there was like a redesign of Facebook or they changed their logos or stuff like that, mm -hmm. there, there, there is always like petitions and people making groups. I hate the new Facebook, make them uh, <laughs> change change back to the old one. And uh, yeah, that's um, that's always stuff like stuff like yeah. this always happens. And the, for those the, the, thousands uh, of people, the thousands of people. Are just on your page for the exploding fishes. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, 
they, by the way, I'm, I'm glad that, because uh, before when I was like uh, named Exploding Fish, so I got so many messages of people uh, uh, telling me stuff like, uh, yeah, I came from uh, the, uh, for the Exploding Fish, but uh, you'd never post fish. Uh, <laughs> and like I, I had like at least one every day and sometimes it was like really a lot. And <laughs> now now I don't have these annoying messages anymore. So that's, uh, that's a win. Yeah. That's an absolute, that's an absolute win. Um, and um, yeah, uh, there's always uh, people that are reticent to change. It's uh, always a big thing on the internet. Uh, I remember like uh, when uh, Tumblr changed their logo, uh, everyone uh, hated it. When Facebook changed their logo, everyone hated it. Um, yeah. Every time there's this change, because people like having uh, people like their habits, and uh, when uh, they're thrown out of, of their uh, their habits, it makes a lot of people uncomfortable. And, um, yeah, that's that's generally true. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's something that I I never had this problem. Uh, and uh, it's 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 kind of it's kind of funny, but um, I never really understood when people uh, talked about the comfort zone and getting out of your comfort zone. I always thought it was kind of a weird um, expression that mean nothing, but uh, then uh, you know I discovered that. Um, Basically, because of my uh, mental uh, issues, I have several mental illnesses, mm -hmm. and because because of that, I am basically always uncomfortable, and I have like zero comfort zone. So I'm basically always out of it. Maybe that's why I'm so creative and successful. Uh, Maybe. But uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah I never had the, I never had this issue with uh, uh, name changes or or whatever. But what gets me the most is not people who don't like change, it's people who uh, don't like change when there is no change. Like, I prefer, uh, I, I get this all the time, uh, yeah, this page has changed a lot, I prefer what you were posting uh, like two or three years ago, and you see this on every, basically every channel. Um, that has been there for quite a long time. For example, uh, H3H3, even if they always make the same kind of videos. I prefer the old Ethan uh, and um, the, the angry video game nerd that makes the same videos for the past 12 years and say, oh, the new the new VGN is not so good compared to the old one, even if this is the exact same tone, it's the exact same writing style. And uh, actually mm -hmm. it, it, it has gone better because of the, the practice and the, you know, uh, the years of experience, but um, I personally uh, always post the same stuff on my page, same kind of memes, same kind of posts, uh, and uh, sometimes people tell me, yeah, I prefer the old thing, so I, even in my mind it starts making me like doubt, so I, re I, I, I go see, uh, look at the old posts yeah. from, 20, from 2015, and uh, no, it's the exact same thing it's uh, I haven't, and uh, so uh, you always see people like that saying oh I prefer uh, I prefer the you know you see that on a lot on Jack's films uh, which has made basically the exact same content for the past four or five years and uh, yeah the last year uh, you make better stuff and uh, no it, it doesn't mm. it hasn't changed that's uh, that's something that you see a lot and it's always so weird you know to me I never understood that. Yeah, I never had really uh, people messaging my page like you've changed, um, but sometimes I do doubt myself. Like, like wait, do I still post the same stuff as I did last year? And then I, um, I go and look at my old memes and my new memes and mm. see how, how many how many of my memes are are like the memes I make now. And I'm like, oh well, I still make kind of the same stuff mm. but sometimes I do check up on myself like in the memes yeah 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 because you never really remember things like they were yeah. and, uh, and uh, it's great to have the internet where everything is documented we have Indeed. like pic if we have Instagram where we post pictures of our food and everything and uh, so um, <laughs> that's like I think that's one of the greatest things 
most underrated aspect of the internet. Of the internet, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that we can look back on how we were and what we were doing like three years ago and witness that it is so different that what I remember. Uh, sometimes it's not that different, but sometimes it's really, wow, I did not remember uh, that uh, this happened to me. What This was three years ago? I thought it was last year. So you see that you, your perception of time is always distorted. And yes. some stuff that some stuff that seemed recent was actually much older. And some stuff that seemed older is actually much more recent. And uh, it's good uh, to, to uh, keep yourself in check to like uh, look at some uh, some stuff from a few years ago. That's why I love so much this Facebook uh, function like the memories. Um, oh yeah, you know? yeah. And uh, at first I was like, "Oh, this is weird," but uh, yeah, I, I've come pretty fast uh, to to love it because um, it's uh, it's super useful. Um, it's um, and I, I think that with time, it, it the fact that you have all these checks, uh, all this that is documented. Mm -hmm. um, you know your your thoughts when you're blogging, your the pictures of your food, the picture of where you went on vacation, etc., etc. So much stuff um, that you can just when you some sometimes you have a doubt on a you can just go check. It's there. There's Google Maps that records all the steps that you do. Uh, that is for me. That's great because. Uh, like for, for for example, the other day I was like, oh, three days ago I walked in front of a restaurant and it seemed nice, but I forgot to uh, note the name or the address, and uh, so I go in Google Maps, I go uh, in the in the history. history, yeah, yeah, three days ago I I walked there and there, and Google Maps said, yeah, you uh, you stopped for three minutes in front of this place. Uh, so yeah, that's it's, it's kind it. of creepy so, but useful. Yeah, but you know, it's not really creepy because no. so because I mean, so many people use it that uh, it's you know why would you be targeted instead of someone else? It's the safety of the crowd. Yeah, that's you know? that's very it, true. Yeah, it, it, it's not it's humanly impossible to. Uh, to go through these data and search yeah, for Yeah, it's it's not it's not useful for others. Yeah. I mean, it's useful like to serve us like uh, uh, ads, but uh, you know, I don't see the problem in that. We're going to see ads anyway, so they might as well be relevant. It always reminds me of that uh, that story. You know, the, the the dude who was furious because um, a grocery store started sending him ads for uh, like uh, diapers and uh, baby clothes and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and uh, and he was like, "That's that's weird. Uh, like, are you targeting my, my daughter? Because uh, now that she's a, uh, I don't know, the, the daughter was like, I think she's seventeen, and uh, yeah, you, did you uh, have uh, information uh, on my daughter's age and?" Uh, or are you uh, targeting her to like uh, incite her to get pregnant or, or stuff like that? You know, <laughs> and, uh, and 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 the, the the supermarket was like, we don't even know who your daughter is. Uh, these ads are not sent by humans; they're sent by uh, robots and and software that tracks your purchases. And uh, based on what you have purchased, they predict what you are gonna need next. It's an algorithm. Nobody send that to you. Uh, we don't know who you are, and it's you know software and computers. It's not us. So uh, the next week, the 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 dad went back to the supermarket and apologized. His daughter was, in fact, pregnant, <laughs> and based on what she had bought, I don't know, some kind of food that uh, pregnant women uh, buy or larger clothes, I don't know. Uh, the, the supermarket had predicted that she statistically uh, would be pregnant, like based on the algorithms and stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, basically the, the computer, uh, the, um, the supermarket software knew that the daughter uh, was pregnant before her dad. <laughs> and, uh, you can find this creepy. Personally, I find this really cool and useful. I don't, I don't see the negative in that. 
Uh, it's great. Sometimes I think, oh, I'm going to need this. And then I open my computer and then Amazon say, oh, uh, we think that you may be interested by this thing. And uh, I say, oh, yeah, it's, it, actually, I was thinking about buying this. Uh, that's an interesting offer. It's like uh, you, you gain time. That's, that's pretty cool. And also for someone like me who, has, who tends to forget things, uh, it's, uh, it's nice to have a, a, another reminder of what I might need. I don't see the downside in that. For me, it's 100% positive. Yeah, I mean, for me, not, not 100%, but um, most of the time it's useful and, and innocent. Uh, so as long as it, as it remains innocent, then it's useful. Yeah, it has no downsides yet. As long as it's just computers, then it's not creepy. And you say if, if people want to do bad uses of it, then yes, of course, it can become bad. But as yeah. long as it's just computers and robots, I don't see the problem. No. Uh, like the other day, I looked a recipe for a pasta, and then uh, Amazon sent me a notification. Uh, oh, here's a product that you may, might be interested in. And I clicked on it, and it was like spaghetti sauce. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> 95% of the time it's like that. It's absolutely innocent and it's just about uh, serving you ads and selling you stuff. We're gonna buy stuff anyway. We're gonna see ads anyway. So might as well be stuff that is relevant. Yeah. You know? Uh, so it is mean, annoying I, when, when uh, the prediction uh, goes wrong or when you just bought something and you get an ad for ad, uh, an, an ad of it. Like I, I yeah. recently bought a um, like a mouse, like a PC mouse. Mm -hmm. And um, right after I bought it, I got ads everywhere. Yeah. Um, like, <laughs> and, and, I, and I was like, well, I, I, I just bought one. Yeah, yeah. Of course, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's obvious why they target me. They're like, hey, maybe he hasn't bought the mouse yet. So let's show him other mouses. Yeah. Of, or mice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I personally, I find this really funny. Like, it always makes me laugh. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, a few months ago, I bought a new shower curtain for my bathroom, and I, I started to see ads for shower curtains every day, 100 yeah. times a day. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I'm going to start a collection. <laughs> it was, but I just find it so funny. And sometimes the it it misses like completely like i remember for a while i kept getting ads for um jewish gay uh dating sites right for, yeah like for, for for i and i'm and i'm not gay and i'm not a jew so that was and i don't know what could have been prompting uh <laughs> this but like it was on facebook on on instagram everywhere uh, meet uh meet a uh, hot gay jewish singles and uh, in your, in your area. neighborhood <laughs> yeah yeah and as was and it happens to me like really often so i think that I don't know what did I do or say <laughs> that makes them think that I'm gay and, and Jewish. It's super weird, but uh, yeah, I, I sometimes it's, it's funny how, how how they can be so wrong about targeting you for something. I I recently got an ad for diapers, indeed. <laughs> like I don't need yeah. diapers. <laughs> like. <laughs> I got these two. I suppose that maybe there's like a, some spike in, uh, you know, because uh, the number of babies born is not constant through the whole year. Oh, right. There, there, there are always spikes uh, in uh, in some, um, and because recently I got a lot of ads for diapers and baby food too. Uh, it was like uh, for basically the whole month of May. Mm -hmm. So maybe more babies are born in May and that's why we saw these ads. Or maybe it's because I talked about my baby rats and the algorithm misinterpreted that for a baby human. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah uh, that's possible, yeah. Well, yeah, I, I got a lot of ads for baby stuff during the whole month of May. I got these I, at least several uh, several times a day. It's, uh, sometimes yeah, it's like maybe you've it, been searching for baby na names for for your rats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, actually, no. But uh, yeah, that could be. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, usually, when I uh, when I uh, do this, I go on uh, dog websites. So, uh, uh. Uh, but yeah, yeah, and it, it's something that has, has been really interesting to me about the targeted ads. It's it's either really spot on. 
or completely <laughs> like something that you, some some sometimes I get ads from stuff I don't even know what that is. Like for for a car parts, I never owned a car. I never talk about cars, but so, uh, often I get ads for like I don't know motorcycle helmets or stuff like this, uh, hmm. which is which really weird. Or yeah, baby stuff. I get uh, ads for like baby clothes and diapers and baby food regularly, even if you know I I, I never uh, you know had a, had a baby and uh, I never talk about babies. So that's uh, that's really that's strange, uh, and uh, and sometimes like it's really really accurate like sometimes it's almost frightening uh the other day um uh, I, I i woke up and i started like complaining to myself that um i my back uh, hurt and uh, maybe it was time to uh change my bed and i opened my uh smartphone and there was like a hundred ads for mattresses <laughs> so uh yeah that that happens really often uh, yeah and, and it does more, make make you wonder uh, it, yeah, it kind of it make, makes you paranoid like like are they listening <laughs> but they are they obviously are I mean sometimes because uh, you know I, I like to talk to myself it helps me concentrate and uh -huh. uh, sometimes I get uh, yeah ads for stuff that I just talked about or uh, when I talk with my, my, my mom on the phone because uh, you know a lot most people don't use the, the phone anymore but uh, um, I, I, I get um, often with my with my mother on the phone oh yeah I do call with my mom uh, like often, often. When, we, uh, when we talk about something I, I know I'm gonna see ads for what we talked about for uh, for several days um, and it never misses and if, even if we talked obviously uh, in French I'm gonna see ads from all, all over the world uh, so uh, yeah it's um, I mean at first it was weird but I, I guess I just got used to it after all the years yeah I, 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 yeah, I, I can see in the beginning that's, that's like uncomfortable like uh, yeah at wait, first I was like I, I don't know really... what to think about this yeah, like they're, they're really, them, yeah. really listening. Yeah. Um, what other stuff have yeah. I said, you know, <laughs> that can uh, incriminate yeah. me or something? No. But, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Especially since I do uh, the theater stuff, or uh, when I work for my videos, uh, I, I practice like uh, well, um, I, I talk, uh, and um, I, I don't practice in my head, you know. So um, when I'm reading a script out loud, uh, the, the phone is, is sometimes <laughs> listening to like really weird stuff. <laughs> but but uh, yeah, at first it was it was shocking because I did not expect that and I did not know what to make of it. Uh, and uh, yeah, at first it, it made me really annoyed. Like it, it made me uncomfortable because uh, because I did not expect it. And um, yeah. And you know, month after month, year after year, I, I realize that it's harmless and that there's basically no reason for me to be afraid of it because you know, I don't see why something bad would happen because of it. I just, just see more ads, you know, when I talk about pasta, I see ads for, for spaghettis and stuff like this. Uh, and uh, I never, I never really, um, I don't see how it could go wrong, as long as it's just computers and robots and algorithms try to sell you shit. I don't see how it could go wrong. Like if the the administrations start using that shit, like uh, I don't see if you've seen the movie Brazil. Mm, no, I haven't. But but basically that's the whole premise of the movie, and uh, like because of a spelling error, there's some guy who gets the. Um, the uh, the death penalty uh, because he had the same name as a, a criminal oh. and uh, yeah. they and they punish the, the the wrong person and uh, yeah it's uh, if it uh, if if it uh, starts happening then yeah like uh, yeah if if the government puts their hands on it. Uh, then it, it could go it, wrong yeah but, it could but, go really it could go like uh, 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 Stalin 5000 you know yeah it could it could be really really uh, really communist really fast 
But um, as long as it's just cooperation, try to sell a, sell us products, I don't see how it could go uh, wrong. Because yeah, you know, yeah, um, as long as it I, keeps I, uh, like uh, innocent, then yeah, yeah, there are only uh, well, there are no down, downsides yet. So yeah, 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 yeah. Because if it's just about like bananas and 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 batteries and. Uh, sneakers and whatever sure but if it starts getting into less stuff like politics or uh, uh you know uh yeah, yeah then, then yeah then yeah it can go really really wrong really really fast uh, as long as it's just about you know buying bananas and video games it's fine yeah well i i think it does um uh, already have um uh, like for p- political campaigns, make you do make use of it uh, already. Yeah. yeah, obviously they do. Oh, that, yeah. That's I mean, for me. It's like a, a gray area. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. For for what is what is still uh, what I still call innocent. Um, well, it, because it it is um, spot on. Like a party that I want to vote for. Like uh, I get ads from the, the that party. Like. Or, or similar parties also. So yeah. that's kind of like the gray area, like, hmm, they know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They really know what I am thinking, what I, what I, yeah. Yeah, when, when yeah, when, yeah, when corporations and politics start being mixed with each other, it's, it's always bad. It's yeah. <laughs> always a bad thing. It's always, uh, yeah. And uh, the slippery slope is never far away, and uh, yeah. Let's hope it doesn't uh, go much further, farther than it does with those political campaigns. And yeah, then I it mean, sh- should be all right. But yeah, I don't. I I'm don't confident know. that it won't go much further because there are also there are already are uh, privacy rules, like how far they can go. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, if it goes much further, I think like people will lose their shit. They will riot and everything. Yeah. And um, yeah, yeah, they're already seventy-five um, percent of people who use Facebook as their primary news source, uh, and that is not good because uh, it should not be a broadcaster of of news. Uh, and neither should Twitter you know it should be in a a space for conversation and you know um, yeah like in the the name social media it it should be more social than media (laughs) yeah yeah of course because that's that's how censorship starts and uh, that's how you know we get another USSR and um, that's um, 1984 shit you know yeah (laughs) It's uh, right now. It's more like um, Aldous Huxley's Brave New World, uh, which is in a way more frightening, but also in a way not as bad. Uh, but you know, it, yeah, it, it can go nineteen eighty four. Um, yeah. On that note, I have never really read the the book ninety eighty four. I still have to read it. Uh, did you read uh, the the? Um, Aldous Huxley's uh, the the um, oh what's the title, um, the best world the shit what's the name I just said it thirty seconds ago. I <laughs> well, I didn't recognize Brave it. New World. Did you read Brave New World by Aldous no. Huxley? In my opinion, it's better and more spot on than 1984, and also it was written before. So I would advise you to start by this one. And okay. uh, 1984 after. There's also a great movie uh, called THX 1183, uh, 1138, uh, which is k- kind of really inspired by 1984. And also the movie Brazil, of course. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll put they're it on really, my list. <laughs> they are. They're really, really different from each other. Like Brazil is all. Uh, well, it was it was made by Terry Gilliam, who was one of the Monty Python originally, uh-huh. and uh, it's like really uh, grotesque and uh, 
there's uh, some old lady that gets a lifting that uh, completely uh, uh, made makes her face. I mean, it's it's uh, it's really wacky, you know, uh, Brazil. Like it's really the the undertones and the message is super dark, but the way that the movie is made is really wacky and um, <laughs> uh, th thx one one three eight. It's completely different. Uh, it's all really uh, aesthetics, and uh, it's it's super. It's a remi it reminds a lot of the aesthetics of Tron, uh, but uh, yeah, it's, it looks really minimalistic, and uh, there's like uh, almost no dialogue. It's it's really uh, it's really a minimalistic movie, uh, mm. and and uh, that's that's pretty cool. So that the, the theme is similar but the way it's treated is completely different and i love both huh. uh Bra brazil and thx yeah right and they're both but they're both inspired by 1984 mm -hmm. yeah yeah a lot of uh, a lot of movies and and things are uh, inspired originally yeah, by 1984 or just yeah anything about um well along the lines of big brothers watching you uh, yeah 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 of course of course uh, black mirror and, uh, mm. and i'm not a, i'm not a fan of black mirror uh but there's some good ideas in there uh. right i don't i don't really like that show but uh, i i don't know if you, i suppose you've watched it it's on Netflix. Uh, no i haven't yet okay. <laughs> still on my uh, on my list uh, I see. I see. I also have a pretty long list of stuff that I have to watch, and uh, uh, probably. <laughs> oh yeah, in a few I, years. I, I still have to watch like a dozen or more movies that people recommended, and I that I really intend to watch, but yeah. uh, <laughs> I never seem to make time for uh, for it. Yeah, yeah. That's what we said earlier. 24 hours in a day that's not enough yeah we gotta <laughs> we gotta change that uh i suppose that by by making the earth um further to the sun the days should be longer maybe that's maybe that's why uh, elon musk and all these billionaires want to go to mars to, to have longer days to do more stuff yeah well uh, a, a day on mars uh, is, is not it's like um I believe 30 minutes longer so it <laughs> oh is that it i thought it was like 35 hours or something like that no i think that was uh venus i'm, I'm not really sure uh, uh yeah of course because all the planets don't turn don't uh, rotate around the sun at the same speed obviously yeah um, i'm gonna check real fast because that's gonna bug me if i don't <laughs> if you don't uh, know it yeah <laughs> Yeah, you you were absolutely right. It's uh, yeah, it's twenty four hour and, and thirty seven minutes. Oh well, <laughs> I wasn't that much off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, one day on Venus is uh, equivalent to one hundred and sixteen days on Earth. Oh yeah, right. And yeah, and one day on Jupiter is uh, ten hours. Yeah, that's really weird because that a day on Venus uh, or a year on Venus is uh, like uh, one and a half days on Venus. That's that's really weird. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Wow. Well, um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I guess we could uh, edit the human genetic code to uh, make us uh, sleep less or less often. Yeah. With all these uh, CRISPR babies and uh, stuff like that, all the genetic manipulations that is starting to take off, I guess that's probably the next. Uh, we're, we are we are on our way to uh, Bioshock. And that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, and um, I wonder when uh, we will start uh, gene editing uh, our children, like. Uh, yeah. Or. I don't think we d already do. But <laughs> uh, a dude uh, did it in, in China not so long ago. So oh uh, yeah, that's has, right. Yeah, I've heard about has, that. It has technically started, although of course all the ethical committees in the world 
started yelling and said, yeah. no, that's not right. That's not... The, the rules of science forbid this. Uh, the, the rules of scientific experiments say that you, you cannot do this. You, you broke all the gods of ethics. Uh, yeah. But the, but the, but the dude, yeah, I, I don't give a shit. I did it. No, it's, and, it's really yeah. interesting how how um, uh, some scientists want um, want to do experiments, but are like, well, I I can't because of it, it isn't um, uh, it is against the ethics. But uh, it it would be really interesting to know. Yeah. Like. Um, we we don't have a, a a good answer for the question where um, at what dose uh, like ecstasy is deadly. Well, you can't really test it on humans because uh -huh. well, you'd kill a couple of humans while testing it. Yeah. But it would be really, um, uh, it, it would be really good if we knew what it was. But it just you can't just. You just can't do it because of the ethnics. There are a lot yeah, of I mean, experiments that are just not yeah. possible. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, um, hmm. in, in the case of ecstasy, it's probably like a really, really high dose because as far as I know, you cannot really have an ecstasy overdose. I mean, it never it never did happen because uh, the dose that you, you have to take f for uh, tripping on ecstasy is quite low and uh, yeah yeah uh, it's like it's like weed uh, you cannot actually we know so you can extrapolate the data based on some stuff because I remember that uh, some guy uh, did a calculation on how much weed you would have to smoke to die from a weed overdose mm -hmm. and it, it was funny because it was like 600 kilograms in a day or something like that <laughs> And, uh, but yeah, we, we, we know um, we know about a lot of stuff. We know that how much chocolate can kill a, a human being. Yeah. And uh, we know how much uh, apples you would have to eat to die for from cyanide poisoning from the pips. So. Um, yeah, it it it's, seems it's, to be hard. It, it, it looks like, um, or well, it, I I can imagine it would be hard to extrapolate that. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. When when I don't I, I don't know how it works, but we can uh, based on some data uh, retrieve the. It's eight apples, by the way. It's not a lot. Eight apples. Wow. Yeah, you know uh, all the um, all the the fruits that have pips in them. Yeah. Like peaches, apricots, cherries, and apples inside of the pips. Cyanide, there right? Is cyanide. Yeah. 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 But but um, the in peaches, apricots, and and cherries, uh, there is a hard shell that protects the pip, but not in apples. Not in apples the, the, yeah. You can, yeah, you, you can he eat the whole apple and and the pips with it, and um, you know people do that all the time. I I do it, uh, and uh, you could be at risk of death from cyanide poisoning. Uh, if you eat the pips from only eight apples, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's uh, I was uh, I was a little surprised when I read this, but uh, yeah, yeah, so am I right now, because that's well, eight apples isn't well. I wouldn't really eight. eat so many apples like yeah. in a day, yeah, but yeah. Um, like after one or two apples, I'm like, okay, now I'm done. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> enough yeah, apple yeah. for the day, but well. Yeah. I guess eight, yeah. I guess eight apples a day also keeps the doctor away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. At first I was like, yeah, that's not a lot, and I, and then afterwards I was like, who eats eight apples? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's not. But yeah, it's always in the dosage. Like for example, uh, the most toxic, the most deadly poison on earth uh, that we know of, at uh -huh. least. Is the Botox? The bot right. Yeah, exactly. The, the botulinum toxin, Botox. Yeah, uh, and um, it's uh, what can kill you with the smallest dosage. Like it takes, like really, as uh, uh, I, I like, I don't, I, I remember uh, it was like one microgram of it to to kill you or something like really, really small like this. Yeah. But 
people inject Botox uh, I- I all the time. Um, it, I mean, uh, it's uh, it it started as a as a medical um, uh, cure for people who have like muscle spasms because it's it makes your yeah, it ma- muscles it makes you numb, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it doesn't really make you numb. It just makes your muscles, uh, yeah, uh, go. Uh, you know, uh, less. Um, it's uh, it cuts basically the information. Yeah, yeah. That's from, what I meant. From, yeah, b- b- between your brain and your muscles. So uh, sometimes you can inject in your face uh, to uh, you know f- against the wrinkles because uh, your face will be imp- impossible to to move, or um, you know uh, for people who have like Parkinson's so they stop uh, having the the shakes yeah. or stuff like that. And uh, and uh, of course uh, if it gets to your heart, your heart stops, which is a problem um, for like life, but uh, and your lungs too. But uh, yeah, if you can inject it in the specific area of the body, and uh, if it's a small dosage, uh, it's a cure for a lot of stuff, like uh, I think restless leg syndrome. When you're uh, you have this, uh, it's a uh, it's a disease of uh, of sleep. When uh, when you're sleeping, your your legs do this weird. Uh, spastic uh-huh. movements and uh, I think injecting um, a very very small amount of Botox in your legs can uh, I mean not not cure but you know manage the symptoms of that yeah uh, and uh, yeah uh, yeah I think uh, I don't some some Koreas maybe um, but yeah 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 and um, and chocolate can kill you too I mean you you would have to eat a lot of it but uh, ev- everything, you know. Yeah, like uh, yeah. the caffeine in in in, in coffee. Um, yeah. Uh, I thought it would be, well, not really hard to to get an overdose. But it, apparently, you have to drink 170 cups of coffee before yeah. you really die of the yeah. caffeine, and that's weird yeah. because yeah. well, you die of um, overhydration first if you really drink 170 yeah. cups of coffee but it's yeah, yeah, still yeah. interesting <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it's uh yeah yeah same for the chocolate you had to you would have to eat eight kilograms of chocolate to, to die from a uh, theobromine poisoning so uh, it's an uh, it's an unpleasant way to go <laughs> yeah your stomach would explode first yeah before you could eat the eight kilograms of chocolate definitely yeah but for the caffeine, I suppose you can take like caffeine pills that are really concentrated on in, in caffeine. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah, I, I, uh, yeah. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff that um, I don't even remember why we were talking about this. <laughs> <laughs> I I know that you cannot die from an overdose of memes. Um, I suppose, but I can I, we, I can try. We can try. Yeah. Can try to what to look as many memes as possible. And, <laughs> I remember that dude who uh, who died because he uh, played World of Warcraft too too much. Oh, yeah. I mean, well, he, he didn't, doesn't surprise he, me that someone did, but I haven't heard he of didn't, it. You know, he didn't die of video game overdose. He, he died of dehydration, obviously. Oh yeah. But because uh, he, he stayed at his computer for like three or four days, and uh, yeah, <laughs> that's not and, good. That, <laughs> nope. <laughs> Without moving, you know. That's uh, that's really not good. Yeah. Um, well, uh, it has been. Uh, let me look. Two hours and a half. Yeah. Of, wow. <laughs> uh, that that's uh, that's pretty good for an episode. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's call that's, it a day. <laughs> uh, let's. Yep. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I think we are gonna stop right now. Um, so, for everyone listening, thank you for listening. Um, that was Mohit Talk episode 14, the worst podcast on the internet. Uh, you can find the podcast everywhere. SoundCloud, YouTube, of course, but also Spotify, Apple Podcasts, etc. etc. everywhere that you listen to your podcast, it's on every app, it's on every site, and um, 
thanks, of course, especially to all my patrons on Patreon who help make this show possible. Your support is tremendously appreciated and every little bit counts. So really thank you all. Uh, don't forget to drop a like or to rate five stars if you really enjoyed and subscribe, of course. And um, yeah, uh, do you have a, a word to close this uh, episode, Mr. With Memes Like These Who Needs Enemies? Um, well, first of all, thanks for having me. Um, it was a pleasure. And to all the listeners, um, well, uh, keep shit posting. Yeah!